The story kicks off in a city setting, where scientists toil away in a factory crafting chemicals and weapons. Suddenly, a swift gorilla comes into focus, sprinting ahead with incredible speed. It yanks out a massive tree, hurling it onto its path, causing a seismic disturbance throughout the factory. Frightened scientists hastily exit the premises. The enraged ape arrives, losing control and unleashing ferocious roars. The military intervenes as the army arrives promptly, launching an assault with guns and machine guns. To their bewilderment, the creature remains impervious to their potent weaponry. The shocking revelation unfolds, the supposed ape is no ordinary primate but a mechanical marvel, a mecha ape constructed from heavy machinery and a robust system. Adorned with an arsenal of weapons, it mercilessly shoots down factory workers and soldiers. The scene transitions to an American jungle, where a carefree boy operates a drone. Abruptly, a mysterious assailant strikes, sending the drone plummeting down. Following that sequence, the focus shifted to the NASA Research Center, the nerve center of America's mechanical systems. This center also held control over the jungle where the boy's drone had fallen. Inside, two scientists discovered an intrusion into their jungle area. It seems someone had ventured in, likely aiming to capture footage of the mechanical ape. This was the same location where the boy's drone had been dropped by the ape. Reacting swiftly, the female scientist urgently alerted security to apprehend the intruder while the male scientist noted a spike in the ape's heartbeat, signaling heightened agitation. To pacify the ape, they needed Sloan, a senior scientist and a close friend of the ape, who had a unique bond with the creature from their playful interactions. The scene then shifted to Sloan, who arrived at the center and was briefed by her scientist friend about the ape's distressed state and intense anger, which had led it to drop the drone. The male scientist briefed Sloan about catching the boy who had operated the drone. Together, they confronted the boy, who happened to be a former professor. They inquired why he trespassed into their area. He defended himself, claiming he was on the other side of the fence and hadn't intentionally entered. Sloan pointed out that the drone, indisputably his, had crossed into their territory. Yet, when pressed about who sent him to film the ape, he sidestepped the question, diverting the conversation to criticize NASA's endeavors. Expressing frustration, he began taunting the NASA team, highlighting their failure to control the ape post its space mission. Sloan, feeling responsible for the ape's well-being, grew incensed. She firmly reprimanded the boy, asserting that the ape's care was solely their concern, not his. She swiftly dismissed him from the scene. Her colleague then urged Sloan to expedite plans to relocate the ape to another location as a matter of urgency. Sloan, adamant about not confining the ape, approaches the sizable Abram ape, carrying a purple light she used for controlling it. Despite her efforts to engage him in play, the ape remained furious and unresponsive. Sloan emphasized the need for calmness while the alien DNA in his blood was being analyzed, then left the area. Elsewhere, a distraught couple visits the same site where the destructive mecha ape had wrought havoc, causing devastation and claiming numerous lives. The remnants of blood amid the wreckage draw the woman's attention, leading her to find her deceased son's ring. Grieving, she laments that this bloodstain is the sole remaining trace of her lost child, who was once a source of pride for their country. Among the visitors is Arnett, the child's father and the director of an intelligence agency from a nation antagonistic to the United States, marking him as an adversary in the eyes of the US. Tensions escalated between Arnett and his wife as she urged him to expedite matters concerning their situation. Meanwhile, Sloan and her colleague convened with high-ranking US officials to discuss the Mecha Ape, recognized as a potent asset for the military. Inquiring about its current location, Sloan informed them of the ongoing examination before its impending relocation. However, the conversation steered toward Abram Ape. Expressing her desire to retain custody of Abram for further evaluation, Sloan encountered resistance from the officers, citing public discontent and complaints against Abram. Despite Sloan's intention to sway opinions in a subsequent meeting, the officer remained steadfast, insisting on relocating Abram to another city promptly. Aware of the potential danger this posed to Abram, Sloan cautioned against hasty decisions, but the general, fueled by public outcry following Abram's previous attack, remained adamant about the necessity of the move. The general expressed concerns about the risk of Abram targeting a major city, emphasizing the urgency of placing him in custody. Sloan remained unconvinced. The officers took the matter to the president, advocating for Abram's secure custody in a controlled environment, assuring the president of his safety, given that he had been retrieved from the sea after many years. Meanwhile, the director of the enemy country's intelligence agency, Arnett, and his wife received news from their colleagues about the discovery of a powerful nuclear weapon, Mark 9. It had been under US control, and they were keen on acquiring it. Learning that the weapon had been moved to Indiana, Arnett instructed his hacker companion to swiftly gather information. Mecha Ape, transported by plane, disrupted the journey by breaking free from the aircraft. Sloan received immediate notification about the plane's destruction and subsequent crash. 
The team grew increasingly concerned as they inspected the wreckage, unable to locate Mecha Ape. Faced with this unsettling development, Sloane and her companions decided to leave the scene. During their absence, the drone professor approached the male scientist, expressing his desire to contribute to their efforts. He presented a theory rooted in his years of intelligence research, suggesting that valuable information could be found within Abram. Observing the ape's aggressive reaction to his drone, he believed there was more to Abram's abilities than met the eye. The professor emphasized the potential danger Abram posed if left unchecked. Simultaneously, Arnett and his team devised a plan to acquire the Mark IX weapon, a device of significant importance. Their strategy involved infiltrating a lab on the first floor, where Mark IX was housed. However, they acknowledged the challenge posed by stringent security measures at the facility. As Sloane and her team arrived at the site of the plane's destruction, the military officer also joined them. Arnett divided his group, including his wife, into three units, all advancing according to their devised plan to reach the lab. Meanwhile, Sloane, her companion, and the army officer noticed movement in the sand, an emergence that turned out to be Mecha Ape. Activating itself, the mechanical creature rose, prompting panic as everyone fled for their lives. Arnett's team managed to deceive security and infiltrate the lab, armed and ready. However, Mecha Ape spiraled out of control, wreaking havoc as it ventured into the city, causing widespread destruction with each powerful blow. Buildings crumbled with a single strike, fires raged, and numerous people suffered injuries, sending the populace fleeing in a bid to save themselves. As news of the chaos reached the president, he erupted in anger, demanding explanations from his officers. He questioned how the once-controlled weapon, Mecha Ape, had become so dangerously uncontrollable and why the issue had been overlooked. Urgently, he ordered for immediate intervention to halt the rampage. Sloane and her companion swiftly arrived at the scene by car, and Sloane, determined to regain control, rushed to a towering building's rooftop, leaping onto Mecha Ape. Despite her efforts, she couldn't subdue the rampaging creature. Faced with the challenge, she ventured inside Mecha Ape, discovering that someone had hacked and assumed control of its system. Realizing the extent of the hack's impact on Mecha Ape's functioning, Sloane informed her companion about the hacker's alteration of the coordinates, redirecting Mecha Ape towards a specific location through manipulated signals. The security system within Mecha Ape thwarted Sloane's attempts to reset or regain control, exacerbating the challenge of restraining the creature and reverting it to its original state. The situation intensified as controlling Mecha Ape became increasingly difficult. Sloane directed her companion to track the coordinates indicating Mecha Ape's destination. Meanwhile, Arnett and his team successfully pilfered the Mark IX weapon and began their departure. The scientist informed Sloan that the coordinates aligned with their research lab in Indiana, prompting Sloan to contemplate informing the lab personnel about the impending danger. However, Sloan stumbled upon a clue within the program, unveiling Arnett's involvement in the hacking scheme while they were present at the lab. This revelation was deciphered through a code affiliated with the intelligence agency of the enemy nation, indicating full control over Mecha Ape by Arnett's team and their intention to lure it to the lab. As news of Mecha Ape's redirection to the enemy country reached the president, his anger escalated, alongside his bewilderment at how a weapon developed by their agency could be led into enemy territory without their knowledge. He demanded to know the plan for halting Mecha Ape's advance. The general briefed him about deploying multiple teams of soldiers, one after another, with the objective of shutting down the machine controlling Mecha Ape. As the female officer voiced her concern about the risks involved in sending more teams due to Mecha Ape's lethal capabilities, the president concurred unwilling to sacrifice more soldiers. Faced with limited options, the president reluctantly opted to deploy a Brum ape, viewing it as the only feasible solution to cease the escalating chaos. Meanwhile, Sloan managed to deactivate two weapons within Mecha Ape's system, unsettling Arnett and his team as they realized someone had infiltrated the mechanical beast. Their control over Mecha Ape wavered, leading to increased turmoil as Mecha Ape rampaged and seized the nuclear weapon, Mark IX, from the lab. Simultaneously, U.S. officers arrived with helicopters to retrieve Abram Ape. However, scientists and professors at the scene adamantly opposed this decision, explaining that Abram Ape, having been sent to space for study, still regarded space as its home. They emphasized that Abram Ape wouldn't engage in a battle to protect the land, considering it unfamiliar territory. The officers informed the scientists that Abram Ape would engage in combat with Mecha Ape, emphasizing that Abram's affection for Sloan would drive him to confront and defeat the rampaging mechanical creature. Despite the inherent risk to Sloane's life, this appeared to be the only way to safeguard the city. Reluctantly acknowledging the perilous necessity, they took a broom with them. Meanwhile, Sloane, inside Mecha Ape, discovered its possession of nuclear weapons, sparking fear. Attempting to shut down the system, she faced immense difficulty. Amidst her efforts, she spotted a broom, brought to the scene and left alone. Calling out to him, a broom responded, approaching Sloane. However, Mecha Ape, 
sensing Abram's presence, unleashed a barrage of gunfire at him. As the chaos escalated, Sloane found herself trapped within Mecha Ape while Mecha Ape grabbed Abram by the neck, attempting to harm him. Abram, resilient and determined, retaliated by attacking Mecha Ape, initiating a fierce and intense battle between the two colossal creatures. Inside Mecha Ape, Sloane swiftly severed two wires and connected them, triggering a red light to glow in Mecha Ape's eyes. This was a signal she had taught Abram, when he saw the red light, he needed to move away. Sloane urgently contacted the female officer, informing her about the planted powerful nuclear weapon within Mecha Ape. She explained that the enemy's intelligence agency intended to detonate the weapon in Chicago, leveraging Mecha Ape's control for their malicious plan. Sloan advised immediate evacuation of Chicago and the prompt removal of the injured Abram from the site. Understanding the imminent threat, the president stressed the importance of preventing Mecha Ape from reaching Chicago at all costs. He instructed Sloan that if the nuclear weapon activated, she needed to dispose of it in a deeply isolated location to minimize the impact of the potential explosion. News reports revealed the destruction caused by Mecha Ape in a city and its subsequent movement toward another. With Sloan disabling Mecha Ape's powers by cutting its wires, the threat it posed gradually diminished. Arnett's wife voiced concerns about potential repercussions from their intelligence agency upon their return, suspecting that their actions might be clandestine even to their agency. This secrecy meant both the American agency and the foreign intelligence agency might be unaware of Arnett and his team's involvement. Contemplating life post-mission, Arnett's wife suggested disappearing elsewhere, away from their country, to evade any potential repercussions. However, Arnett justified their actions, assuring her that their motives were rooted in serving their country and honoring their son's memory. As the scientists and professors arrived at the site where Mecha Ape and Abram had reached Chicago, Abram ascended to the top of a building while Sloan attempted to redirect him. Unfortunately, Abram remained unresponsive to her attempts. Mecha Ape, detecting Abram's presence, resumed its attack, firing its machine guns at him from below. As the scientists and professors advanced in a helicopter toward Mecha Ape, Sloan desperately tried to intervene. However, Mecha Ape struck Abram forcefully, causing him to stagger but eventually rise, consumed by anger. Abram, losing control, hurled a train at Mecha Ape, sending it crashing far away. Enraged, Abram roared and unleashed a series of powerful blows on Mecha Ape, causing it to collapse. Despite Sloan's peril, a scientist aboard the helicopter cautioned that Abram was targeting the wrong part of Mecha Ape. Continued assault could lead to Mecha Ape's system overheating and triggering an explosion. In an attempt to prevent catastrophe, Sloan disconnected the main wires of Mecha Ape's system to shut it down and prevent the bomb from detonating. Unexpectedly, this action empowered Mecha Ape instead of disabling it. It rose once more, launching a relentless barrage of gunfire at Abram, gravely injuring him and forcing him to collapse. The sight of Abram seemingly lifeless had initially caused great concern, but to everyone's astonishment, he began to stir. His revival surprised and relieved the onlookers, especially considering the severity of Mecha Ape's attack. The professor attributed Abram's recovery and newfound abilities to the alien DNA within his blood, which facilitated his rapid healing and enhanced powers. Reinvigorated, Abram rose once more, engaging Mecha Ape in an intense battle, launching a relentless and relentless assault. Despite Sloane's attempts to halt the combat, she found an opportunity to escape by opening the exit door and slipping away while the two colossal entities clashed. In the heat of the confrontation, Abram relentlessly attacked, eventually severing Mecha Ape's arms. As Abram prepared to deliver a final blow, Sloan intervened, diverting Abram's attention by suggesting a game, luring him away from Mecha Ape. Prompted by Sloan's words, Abram picked up Mecha Ape, interpreting it as a toy, and began chasing after Sloan. Sloan guided Abram to a deep pit and instructed him to toss Mecha Ape inside. As Mecha Ape plummeted into the pit, it triggered a massive explosion, bringing an end to its menacing presence. Abram remained serene amidst the chaos. Meanwhile, Arnett and his team attempted to flee in a plane, but Abram intercepted their escape, causing panic as he shook their aircraft vigorously. Terrified, Arnett's team hurriedly exited the plane only to be apprehended by FBI agents waiting nearby. Taking hold of the plane, Abram stood tall. Recognizing his valorous efforts in defeating Mecha Ape and safeguarding countless lives, the government granted Abram permission to reside freely on an island, a gift in acknowledgement of his heroic actions. With his newfound freedom assured, Abram joyously embarked on his island adventure, reveling in his happiness and embracing the liberty to live life on his terms. As he joyfully sprinted across the island, the tale of this film found its conclusion.